Hey guys, this is Torner, and today we've got probably one of the most hype videos I'm going to make. Um, now, there's potentially that this is nothing, but to me, there's slowly been more indications over the last week towards Gambit and Rogue being confirmed, which I'm obviously incredibly excited about, as you guys can imagine. Um, I've been looking forward to this for the last three years. Uh, we got Valentine's Day coming up, which is most likely when they're going to release them, and I am insanely excited. Um, yeah, as I said, there's potential that this is nothing. I kind of did a poll over on my um, on my Discord where I'm like, hey, could this guys could this mean anything? And so, uh, there was a few people who were like, oh yeah, start getting hyped. It's kind of a mixture between start getting hyped or it could mean nothing, and it does mean nothing. And I'm being biased, so I guess it's up to you. You guys decide down and let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So this post here was posted obviously over on the Marvel Strike Force Twitter, and I replied to it. They said Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, has joined, and I'm like, hey, he's a clone. You know who else clones? Sinister. You know, has a lot to do with Sinister Gambit confirmed. And then the official Marvel Strike Force, um, official Marvel Strike Force Twitter actually liked it, which is bizarre. Like, usually they don't like too much stuff. Like, looking through their history, they don't like all that much stuff. And none of it's really about upcoming characters or anything. It's like, hey, this guy pulled seven red stars of him. Nice. Scopely celebrating. Nice. Top 10 Marvel games. Also, just for the record, Marvel Strike Force was on this top 10 Marvel games of all time, which uh, I, I found that interesting. I wouldn't say it's a top 10. Like, it's one of my favorite mobile games for sure, but I'm not sure about top 10 mobile uh, video games because there's some classics out there like the X-Men arcade game and stuff like that that are just amazing. Anyway, completely sidetracked there. Talking about stuff, talk about... Um, the exclusive reveal Arnold got and stuff like there's a f not that much stuff they like to start with. And then a lot of it's like, hey, this is all lots of stuff going on. So it's very interesting. I'm pretty excited about this. It could mean nothing, could mean something. But then, dun, dun, dun. We combine it with today. We got the logging calendar for this week. Uh, sorry, for this month, which is long shot. Now. You guys might be thinking, hey, what the hell, Longshot? What's he got to do with anything? Now, Longshot, shot, but long shit. Longshot obviously is within the X Factor team. He's not going to have anything to do with this new team. He's basically like, um, yeah, he's, he's already accounted for. Could they be bringing a new X Factor character? Possibly, but I very much doubt that. But, 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 Mr. and Mrs. X, la, uh, to three years ago, three years ago now, <laughs> I'm getting confused on the time now, um, made a scene with Longshot and Drogue going to be kissing. And it was kind of a big thing because they went over on the official Marvel, this is the official Marvel uh, thing, yep, three years ago, talking about Longshot and Rogue res uh, retrospective, retrospective. Um, talking about their almost relationship that they had for a while while Rogue and um, Dazzler were like, oh, let's just fight it out because we love Longshot together. He actually full on kisses her at one point and then they're arguing over her because, you know, Rogue's a petty bitch sometimes and wants to have her boy and stuff. Eventually she ends up obviously going back to Gambit and uh, living with Gambit and they ended up getting married uh, three, no, this was this was three years ago, which means it must be four years ago before Mr. and Mrs. X started uh, in X-Men Gold. Um, obviously, kind of, it, it kind of wouldn't make all that much sense, like for them to kind of um, have a, a long shot, um, long shot logging calendar, obviously. And there's potential that, again, it's not hinting at anything, but kind of combining like the, it's like, okay. I basically feel like um, that scene from, uh, what is it? It's always sunny in Philadelphia where he's like connecting all the dots and everything like that. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. But then we're going to combine it with this as well from yesterday where we've got the sun rising up. We've got here, 
We've got the Egyptian pyramids. We've got birds flying around. Now, I talked to my mate who's, like, really, really great and into birds and stuff like that to kind of look at these birds and see what he could think they were. And he was pointing out that they could potentially be osprey. Now, for those who don't know, ospreys are a bird that is basically everywhere, raptor-like bird. However, the first osprey, um, the oldest osprey fossils were actually found within Egypt. So let's combine that. We've got potentially Egyptian birds, osprey birds. We've got a pyramid. We've got a rising sun coming over this pyramid. It's clearly hot. Like, look at how um, hot it is and everything along those lines. Is this potentially pointing towards anything besides Ensabaner? Uh, en- 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 I'm very bad at pronouncing this. Apocalypse, uh, a.k.a. the morning light. Who knows? Maybe it's pointing towards the Fresh Horizons event. But to me, that wouldn't really make sense. They don't really tease events in that way, especially when they haven't given us any fucking information about it. But first light of the mutant dawn. The morning light, the first morning light, so much stuff to do with light, to do with apocalypse. Well, let's combine it all together. We've got them liking the tweet about Gambit. Not liking too many other tweets, especially not about upcoming characters. They could have been just the. It could have just been Cerebro was on the account and like, hey, look, Thorne is talking about Gambit again. Better like that to freaking rile him up. Who knows? <laughs> We've got a long shot here. We've got a long shot. This, I mean, it's a long shot and it's a long shot calendar. Um, potentially about Rogue and Rogue and, get, uh, Rogue and Longshot's uh, relationship. There was other characters that they could potentially have included in here that, uh, get, uh, that Rogue's actually had relationships with, but like a Magneto calendar wouldn't really work. Um, but like Longshot was a major kind of uh, thing of the comics for a while. You've also got obviously Gamut and they're not going to put a Gamut calendar in there. And then... Oops, that's not what we wanted there. Then we've got this here with the Marvel Strike Force Facebook posting the Egyptian kind of uh, pyramid, the Osprey, the sun, the first light. I don't know, guys. You let me know. Do you think that I'm crazy? Am I drawing parallels where there's no parallels? Am I just looking for reasons to be hyped or am i actually kind of onto something here there's a lot of kind of dots here pointing towards certain things and one sure two sure but three combined together gambit rogue and apocalypse coming to marvel strike force insanely hype let me know in the comments what you guys think that's it for today have a great day goodbye